name in the Asma'ullah al-Husna in that famous hadith is Al-Muhaymin. So, huwa Allahu alladhi la ilaha illa huwa Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, Al-Malik, Al-Quddus, Al-Salam, Al-Mu'min, Al-Muhaymin. Now, Muhaymin, one of the first places for this word Muhaymin to be used in the Qur'an is in the sixth juz, in Surah Ma'idah, Ayah number 48. Surah Ma'idah, the fifth surah, and Ayah number 48. Well, Allah Azza wa Jal has said, وَأَنزَلْنَا إِلَيْكَ الْكِتَابِ We have revealed to you a book, بِالْحَقِّ, with the truth. مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْهِ It is an affirmation of all the other revelations we have given before it, meaning the Torah, the Injil, the Psalms, the Zabur. And this book that we've revealed to you, Muhammad, Muhayminan alayhi, it is Muhaymin. So the word that Allah has used to describe himself as Muhaymin, he has also used the same word for the Qur'an, that the Qur'an is Muhaymin. فَحْكُمْ بَيْنَهُمْ بِمَا أَنزَلَ اللَّهِ So, O Prophet, you should now command with what Allah has revealed and you should not follow any of the desires uh, of the of these other people from uh, the, which which move away from the truth that has been revealed from you and so on. This is the ayah that Allah Azza wa Jal has revealed uh, and when we have in Surah Maida. Now, what does this word Muhaymin mean in Surah Maida? And also, what reference does it have with Allah Azza wa Jal? Now, Imam Qurtubi says that. Muhayminan alayhi means that the Qur'an is something which is high. Uh, Qur'an is something which has a high status. And this is according to not only it being the best of the books, but also because the most reward is, is in the Qur'an. And, and we know that. So that is one meaning of Muhaymin, of being something which is high. The second meaning of Muhaymin is... The one that is a witness, the one that is a witness, Imam Qatada rahimahullah has said this, that it is something that is observing. As a, as a witness, it is observing, al-mushahid or al-raqib, the one who is observing. So the Qur'an is an observer. How is the Qur'an an observer? Because throughout our lives, the Qur'an will observe us until we get to the end of our life and when we die the Qur'an will actually come out as a person and it will either become hujja laka or alayka which Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa said that either, either it, it will become a, uh, an argument for you or an argument against you on the day of judgment so it is the Qur'an is observing us at the moment how we are uh, practicing our deen and the other me- this meaning clearly to Allah Azza wa Jal would mean that Allah Azza wa Jal being Muhaymin is observing us so the first mean- meaning of Muhaymin with Allah Azza wa Jal would be that he is high and he there's nothing higher than him and there's nothing more we, we can find <coughs> that is exalted than Allah Azza wa Jalla. He is the one that is the highest and the second would mean that Allah is observing us <coughs> And it also means that the, that the Qur'an is a source of a, a means to be, to, to, to be a observer of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa So if you want to find a means of judging the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa you can go to the Qur'an. And you will find that you will be able to observe the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi through the Qur'an. So just as we've got that hadith when somebody asks Aisha radiallahu anha, describe to me the character of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She says that kana khuluquhu al-Qur'an. If you want to summarize the entire character, character of the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you must go to the Qur'an. So what does that show? That shows that the Qur'an is, if you want to put it in other words, the Qur'an is the deen of Allah in terms of a book and Rasulullah is the deen of Allah in terms of a living, living entity. Of a living entity. So they are both, um, in, in a sense, um, 
or, or spe- specifically the Quran is in a sense one that 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 is in a, in observance of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam's life and characteristics. The Quran is that. Ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhuma he has said that muhayminan alayhi another meaning of that is mu'tamin which means that this the Quran is a source of truth and a, a, a source of a, 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 a source of trust a source of trust mu'tamin alayhi means a source of trust so that means that if you go to the Quran, you will find that the Quran will, will be the source that you can use as a trust to decide what was truthful in the books before. We don't go to the, to the Injil or the Torah, the Bible, whatever you want to call it. We don't go to that to confirm what, what is in the Quran. But we do the other way around. We go to the Quran to find the, the, the truthfulness of these other books. So that means that the Quran is the, is the source of trust. So when Allah has said, مُصَدِّقًا لِمَا بَيْنَ يَدَيْ وَمُهَيْمِنًا عَلَيْ It means that the Quran is the one that will be the basis of anything that you can trust in all the revelations that Allah has given. Imam Ibn Abbas radiallahu uh, anhuma, the, the Sahabi, and Hassan al Basri radiallahu uh, rahimahullah, he has said that the Muhaymin also means Amin, which is just as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa was given a title that he was Al Amin, the trustworthy, the Quran has got that, um, that, that status as, as well, that it is uh, trustworthy. Now, Haymana Yuhaymin. The word that Muhaymin comes from, Haymana Yuhaymin in Arabic, means that something is a guarding protector over something else. So from this, if you look at the linguistic meaning, what you will come to is uh, that the Quran being Muhaymin means that it is protecting, the protecting the original revelation which Allah had revealed in the other books. The Quran is a protector of that because no one will be able to change the Quran. And one of the tafsirs which Imam Mujahid has said of this ayah is that the Quran, uh, th- though uh, Allah has said, Musaddiqal lima bayna dayhi min al kitab wa muhaymin alayhi, that muhaymin alayhi could be referring to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa which means that he is the one which is trusted with the Quran. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa is the one who is trusted with the Quran. Now, all these meanings going back to Allah azza wa jal would mean that Allah is, Allah is the, the highest. Allah is the one that Allah is the one that is watching over and he is observing and Allah Azza wa Jal is the one of trust is the one of trust so all these meanings come in muhaymin so this is the this is what we have of the name of Allah Azza wa Jal